current law so aim of the experiment to verify kirchhoff's current law uh, as you all know that the kcl states that the amount of current entering the junction is equal to the sum of the currents moving out of it so connections for this that is uh, made as shown in this figure so you can see here this is the regulated power supply and this is the ammeter and this is the rheostat so like this, this is the ammeter 1 rheostat 1 ammeter 2 rheostat 2 ammeter 3 rheostat 3 so all these are connected in series the previously in kvl it is connected in parallel but here it is connected in series so according to this circuit the connection is made here so this is ammeter 1 and uh, ammeter 2 3 rheostat 1 rheostat 2 and rheostat 3 so the connection is made as shown in the diagram then here regulated power supply so there is a setting for this so here it is minimum and this current is maximum and voltage it is minimum and we should increase this to set the voltage so now I am setting it to 10 volts So now it is in uh, 10 volts. Then you have to note down the rating uh, that's readings in ammeter 1, ammeter 2, and ammeter 3. So ammeter 1 reading is uh, that is 0.1, ammeter 2 is 0.5, ammeter 3 is 0.5. So here the procedure is I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. When you are adding these two, it should be equal to this one. So I1 is nothing but 0 0.1. When you are adding 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. So 0 0.05 and 0 0.05, so that is nothing but 0 0.1. So that KVL, that is KCL is verified. So next I am going to set this for uh, 20 volts. Similarly, we have to set 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30 volts. You should take the reading. So now it is for setting this for 20 So now you can note down the reading in ammeter. So voltage is 20 and here it is 0.4 and uh, this is I1, I2 and I3. I2 is nothing but 0.2 and this is 0.2. So when you are adding that is I1 is 0.4, I2 plus I3 means 0.2 plus 0.2 is nothing but 0.4. So this shows that KCL is verified. Same similarly you have to take the reading for 25 volts and 30 volts.